Yeah, going into year two, I've uh, just been uh, pretty impressed. We, we played a lot of freshmen last year, and, and to have those guys now be sophomores, uh, a little bit out of some of the shadows of some of the older guys and, and into leadership roles, I, I think that's uh, probably what we're most excited about. And, and those are some guys that, you know, certainly Phil Goss in the goal and, and Luke McCaleb and Jack Niffin at attack. I mean, some pretty key key roles, key people, um, you know, that, that really emerged and, and played a, a big, big part last year. So I think the biggest factor uh, for success for us in, in 2018 is uh, we talked about it a little bit, you know, our we have no returning All-Americans. We have a couple All-League guys, but um, you know I think our, our guys have really embraced that um, with a chip on their shoulder, and and they're ready to to attack. Uh, a little bit different than than years past, where as I said we had some some big names, some big resumes returning. Um, pretty excited about uh, a little bit more humble, hardworking, hard hat, lunch pail group this year. Yeah, Phil's um, a pretty pretty interesting guy. I mean, he stayed on campus after his freshman year, which is uh, pretty unique. He had a great job um, working working on campus, and and as a goalie, stayed in and, and just went to work and and put on 25 pounds of muscle when. At his position, he, he probably doesn't need that for any other reason other than uh, to emerge as a leader, to emerge as, as a guy who's really uh, demonstrating that work ethic and that toughness we're talking about. And, and so I think Phil's been a great reflection of, of everything we've been talking about and that growth in year two. And, and he's done it literally and, and figuratively. So. Um, you know, and, and clearly at, at times last year as a freshman, he carried us and, and he was the reason we had a chance to, to win the league games we won and, and um, you know, that Princeton playoff game, we struggled pretty hard on, on the face-offs, but we just kept getting stops. We just kept, you know, certainly the goalie gets a lot more of the credit than he always deserves, but you know, he's a big reason we're getting those stops, getting the ball to the offense, and and able to, to score the goals we needed to, to win that game. Um, I mean, the lacrosse-wise, uh, we felt that was a um, pretty natural fit. Um, it's why we made a lot of the decisions we made, and, you know, certainly... Um, you know, coming into that senior group last year, Dylan Malloy, his older brother, played for us at, at, at Tufts, and uh, we recruited Dylan Hard to come come to Tufts. So, um, you know, we felt all those things were were pretty comfortable. Um, so, honestly, the answer is probably more the family stuff and and getting our family. We were pretty settled in into into Boston. My wife and I were high school sweethearts. She went to BC, got her law degree from BC, so we were pretty pretty rooted up in up in in the Boston area. So um, you know, going into year two and having all that stuff settled and, and my wife loved Rhode Island from the beginning. Our kids, you know, it was a pretty big change for them and, and so now that they're settled in the school, settled into their sports and you know, it's just really uh, freed me up to make sure focus is, is where everything it needs to be.